my name is Jim and this is Gardening Through the Seasons Inside and Outdoors. I would like to talk to you about an herb that's perhaps the most powerful herb in my herbal garden, and that's Ephedra sinica. And before I get started talking about this plant, I would like to tell you that I have no medical training, so I can't diagnose or treat any disease. And I'm not saying you should take this. And also, um, this plant, like a lot of medicines, can have side effects. In fact, some people have died from it, and so it's actually illegal to sell it as a supplement in the United States. But anyway, this plant comes from northwestern China and other dry places, temperate places. So it has uh, places, it grows in places of four seasons. It can t tolerate a fair amount of cold. But um, what has been, what is it used for? Well, in folk medicine, the Chinese have used it for over 5,000 years to treat things like asthma, allergies, and bronchitis. Also, if people have been chilled, they feel chilled, it uh, creates heat, in the, or it causes your body to create heat, thermogenesis. And the reason it does all these things is because it contains different chemicals, but one of which is ephedrine. And ephedrine mimics adrenaline in your body. And so it constricts blood vessels and it speeds up your heart. So it would not be good to combine it for sure with caffeine or to use it if you have heart problems. How do you grow this? Well, it loves bright sunshine. It needs that. It also needs excellent drainage. And then if you want it to grow vigorous for you, water it in dry weather and give it fertilizer, especially I find early in the spring, it really responds to that right when it's doing most of its growth. It gets these little cute uh, red berries as well. I find that it grows very, very well in a pot probably because of the drainage. But you don't want to let the pot freeze. So during very cold weather, I put it in the garage during the winter. So, and I also want to show you another trick. You see these joints here where a bunch of stems are growing out like that? If you bury these, so pretty soon I'm going to come through here and I'm going to bury these little joints here because they'll root there and that starts a whole new plant and it just, it, it causes it to proliferate. So, when I use it, I put about a teaspoon per cup of water. And this is less than that. I know that just for demonstration. And what does it taste like? Just put it in some boiling water. It's mostly clear and the taste, not much of a taste at all. Maybe almost um, a bit of bubble, bubble gum or something. And it has an interesting effect in your mouth it actually dries it out so it's used um, for colds as well I forgot to mention that earlier and for opening the sinuses like my video subscribe and we'll see you next time